Hey, what's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan. Okay, today on uh, we're gonna do part three on the 5.5 engine build. Today we got our crankcase cover, the right one for the engine, a gasket from one of the old crankcase covers that still fits it, and we're gonna start the uh, reassembly. So here we go. So like I said, here's our new crankcase cover that I ordered from uh, eBay, thanks to uh, my helpful subscribers. And we're going to slap that bad boy back on this engine case and see if we can get it all mocked up. Stick around. Okay, so what I've decided is I'm going to cut this governor arm off and then I'm going to pull that governor gear out. Stick around so I can get the process done. All right, so we're gonna get this governor wheel or governor arm cut off. Governor arm removal will be a success. All right, now that we got our crankcase cover back on with the gasket and all the correct bolts, we're gonna go ahead and bust out our torque wrench and torque these bad boys down to 17 foot pounds. set the camera right over here. No, because then the wind wants to blow that. Perhaps there? I don't know. Well, I'm just trying to do this shit while I can in this blown ass wind. Ten mil, there we go. be right back all right so I managed to get most of the bolts close I got one of them down to seven well actually two of them down to 17 foot pounds and the rest are as tight as they're gonna get without stripping out the aluminum because this these engines are obviously made out of pig metal so on to uh, assembling the head we'll get cracking on that spike man out stick around all right, moving forward, I managed to get the 18-pound valve springs in here. 
I believe the lash cap goes on the exhaust side and the uh, intake doesn't get one. But I made sure that I paid attention when I pulled this engine apart because it didn't have the rubber sealer ring down there at first, but now I got one from the other engines. So I just got to get the, uh, the head bolts torqued down to 17 foot pounds and we'll be moving forward with this project. Spike man, stick around. Okay, so as you can see, I got the head all torqued down to 17 foot pounds. All the bolts worked out great. I actually took the uh, stock head bolts and left those ones off because those are 13 mil and these ones are 12 mil. Plus they're all shiny and look new and pretty and stuff. So we got our, uh, our valve lash setting. I'm gonna set that to three thousandths on the intake side and then we're gonna go four thousandths on the exhaust side. So intake, exhaust. And the exhaust gets the lash cap, not the intake set. So stick around after I get this uh, all torqued down to spec. Yeah, stuck there with the other side. Big time! Big time! All right, so we hit a bit of a snag. Turns out when I was trying to uh, set the lash settings on this side for the exhaust, the stupid freaking uh, thread stripped out. Luckily, I got a whole plethora of replacement ones of these studs. So I'm going to get the Dremel hooked up. We're gonna cut this down a bit so I can get a uh, 13 inch socket on there. Stick around. All right, so we got that damaged stud taken out. I'm gonna go through my box of parts here. And it looks like I got some replacement ones right there. Right there, right there. Big time! <laughs> Best damn ripper in the world. Hang on one second. There we go. And I think I'll even use the uh, rocker arm. What the hell, right? Out with the old, in with the new. So stick around Shut and we'll get that around town. Alrighty. We got our valves all torqued down to spec. Intake three thousandths. Exhaust four thousandths. And I triple checked those, so they are good. I uh, also got that one stud replaced. Brand new one in there. Brand new uh, valve lift uh, rocker arm as well. Still got the uh, original stock one here. And I got a bone to pick with this, but like everybody, you'll agree with me when I say get rid of that junk crap flywheel and put one from the Predator 212 on there with the new fan shroud because look at the difference. The old fan shroud, it's so sun rotted. This thing was just, oh my God, fucking nasty. Go on, get. Look, I could probably beat it with the thing once and it'll crack. Yeah, see, sun rotted. These things, not nah, sun rotted. Nice, fresh plastic. That thing, on the other hand, just shatters all the hell. Totally sun rotted from the desert. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to have it this way. Huh? Got my handy little trash can right here. Let's throw all that crap away so I'm not making a bloody mess for my tires to be popped. Don't need that. Even though my car is a pile of shit and I hate it, it still runs and drives. So we're going to pop this old nasty iron off and get the new iron on. Besides, I'm sure that one will have a much stronger magnet for a better spark than this pile of crap ever will. Stick around town for Spike Man is on the action scene. And yeah, all that good stuff. Hey, the plus side is the new fan shroud works, so wish me luck on that. Okay, so after an insane amount of work trying to get this fucker off, it's off. Now I can apply the new one. Stick around for that. And of course, so much for wishful thinking, the tape is slightly bigger than the one on this one, so that means that this flywheel will actually sit closer to the block, possibly rubbing it, to whereas this one, the taper is a lot tighter, keeping it away from the block, so I'm stuck using the same goddamn piece of shit.
Onward and forward. Shutterstock music. Spike Man out. All right, so comparing the old Polestar catch to the new one, it looks like the new one will work, and the slots are the same. Everything's the same except for that little notch right there, but I don't think that's going to matter anyhow. So the new Polestar from the uh, Predator 212 should work fine, and everything should be good. I'm going to compare these. Oh yeah, it should definitely be fine. As far as I know, everything should be hunky-dory. Spike Man, stick around. Alright guys, so as you can see, I am running out of a fuck ton of daylight. So, I managed to get this far. I'm proud of myself. Um, I got the new fan shroud from the Predator 212 along with the uh, Predator 212 pull start to work for this engine. I did, however, have to cut... A notch out where it's supposed to like have a plastic uh, dowel that goes into the flywheel but I just had to cut one out and now it's it fits just fine so I'm gonna like I said wrap it up call tonight so you guys are gonna have to obviously stick around for what part four that's right so that'll be tomorrow sometime later in the day whenever I wake up because I'm a nighttime I'm a night owl I don't do anything early in the morning so yeah, stick around for part four of this engine build. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah.